Okay, now we're going to calculate the critical angle from one material to another. So, um, I'm going to have a light ray go from diamond into air, and I want to know what is that angle that it will no, the light will no longer be able to go from the diamond into the air, but it'll be trapped inside the diamond and reflect off it at the same angle of incidence as the angle of reflection. So what is that um, critical angle? First, I've got to decide, is there going to be a critical angle? Is there total internal reflection? I'm going from diamond, which has an index of 2.42, to air, which has an index of 1.0. So there's going to be a critical angle because I'm going from more dense. Anything greater than 1 is more dense. So this is more dense than air. I'm going to have a critical angle. The formula I use is the index in one material times the sine of that angle in that material is equal to the index in the other material times the sine of that angle in that material. So I've got the diamond here the air here, the light is coming in, and remember we measure the angles from the normal. I want to know the critical angle. The critical angle is where the light will reflect, refract along the surface and begin reflecting back up so that this surface acts like a mirror. Okay? So what do I know? I know the index, this index, I know this index, but I need to be given three things because there's one, two, three, four variables in this formula you need three. Well, that's something you got to know about critical angle. For the critical angle, the angle of refraction is 90 degrees when the critical angle happens. So as soon as this refracts at 90 degrees, it's, it's reflecting. Any angle greater than the critical angle, and it will definitely be acting like a mirror and have total internal reflection. So if the critical angle is 40 degrees, at 35 degrees, I do have refraction. At 41 degrees, 42 degrees, anything greater than 40, I have total internal reflection. So let's plug in this formula. The first material is the diamond, so n for diamond, 2.42 sine of the angle in the diamond, that's the critical angle I'm looking for, is equal to 1.0 sine of the angle in air. And I said, in order to find the critical angle, you've got to assume the angle in the other material is now at 90 degrees. So I need to take this, oops, and replace it with 90 degrees. The sine of 90, when you plug it in your calculator, is 1. So I've got 2.42 sine of the angle I'm looking for is equal to 1 times the sine of 90, which is 1, so that works out nice, works out to be 1. I need to get rid of the 2.42. So I divide both sides by 2.42. Sine of the angle I'm looking for is 1 over 2.42. So I take my calculator. 1 divided by 2.42 is sine of that angle is 0 0.413. In order to find the angle, I have to hit inverse or second function or shift. It depends on your calculator. Sine. I get the angle is 24.4, we're rounded to 24 degrees. The critical angle is 24 degrees. If I shine a light that's in a diamond at less than 24 degrees, it will be able to escape the diamond and go into the air and have an angle of refraction. If I send light in from diamond into air at an angle greater than 24 degrees, it's going to totally internally reflect. And how much will it reflect by? If the angle of incidence is 30, the angle of reflection is 30. That's the law of reflection. Okay?